Hey there, in this video, we're going to prototype this infinite looping marquee animation for our Figma prototypes. So to start things off, here we are back in my Figma project, and I have the homepage mockup that I want to add this marquee into. Then I also have an auto layout that I already set up. And what this auto layout is, I labeled, I labeled it marquee track. And what this marquee track is 12 images. It's six images that have repeated the pattern that I want to use for my marquee. So it's six images and then the pattern repeated one, one more time. So I have 12 images total here in this marquee track. And this marquee track is going to be what's going to move to simulate that marquee. And why I repeated it twice, so I have the same six images, is because we're going to give the illusion when we move it to the left, when it gets back to that starting point, it's going to instantly swap to a duplicate version giving that illusion of infinite looping marquee. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to select my marquee track and I'm going to make it a frame. So I'm going to frame selection and I can call this wrapper. And then I'm going to duplicate this wrapper. So I can do control D or command D and I'll just bring the duplicated copy below the original. And now with my duplicate copy, I'll call it wrapper two, so we know which is which. With this duplicate copy, I want to move the marquee track inside so that the repeated image, the first repeated image, lines up with the first image of our original wrapper. So a good thing to do would be to add a ruler and line it up with the images so that way you can get it perfect. So I'm going to select the marquee track on my wrapper two. And I'm just going to drag and slide it so that first image lines up with the ruler. You might need to zoom in to better see this. And sometimes it will get out of your wrapper. So I'll just make sure this is back inside here. And I can select the marquee track. And I'll make sure it's close to the ruler as possible. That looks good. So if now if we look, I have my wrapper two and I have my wrapper on top. So now what we want to do is with this wrapper two, we want to give the width to be 1440, which is the size of my homepage artboard, 1440. So I want the wrapper to have a width of 1440. And we're going to clip content. And then we'll do the same for wrapper two. So wrapper two. We'll have a width of 1440 and we're going to clip the content and now what we're going to do is we're going to select both wrapper and wrapper 2 so both wrapper and wrapper 2 are selected in my layers and i'm going to go up to where it says frame here and these three dots where it says more actions and i'm going to say create component set so inside this component one i have wrapper 2 and wrapper and they're both components so what we're going to do is we're going to take the first wrapper the original wrapper go to prototype and in the interactions tab go to plus after delay we'll go one millisecond and the action will be changed to wrapper two and for our animation we're going to go smart animate linear and for the duration i'm going to use something pretty long for this because you know it's going to be a looping marquee so i don't want something that's going to blind or devastate the people on my website so i'll just do ten thousand to start i close and i'm going to select wrapper two the interactions after delay delay will be one millisecond action change to wrapper and we want this one to be instant because wrapper two is only acting as the illusion of the repeated marquee so once wrap the original wrapper it gets to that location where the repeated image we want it to switch back to that first one so i'm going to close and then i can select the wrapper and i can make a duplicate and drag it into my project i'll just drag it up here and I can go and preview my home page. 
and we have a looping marquee in our prototype. So there you go. That's how you can create a infinite looping marquee animation in Figma. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.